Now that you know how to create an automated rule from scratch, let's take a look at RevealBot strategies. RevealBot strategies are automated rule templates based on proven automation strategies and tactics you can add to your own account and customize. To create a new rule from a strategy, click the Create Rule button at the top and then click Open Strategies in the pop-up. You can also click Strategies in the sidebar in the Automated Rules section. On the Strategies page, you'll find the home of all the RevealBot strategies. You can filter by Ad Platform at the top and by Categories, Actions, and Items in the sidebar. There are several kinds of strategies to choose from. There are some to help you get started with automated rules, like our Quick Start Strategies, Strategies to make your ad spend more effective, advanced strategies to completely handle your bid management, and more. For now, let's take a look at the quick start strategy. There are two to choose from, return on ad spend based and customer acquisition cost based. If you're running campaigns for an e-commerce company and pulling revenue into your Facebook ads manager, you'll most likely want to use ROAS based. Opening it up, you'll see a description of the strategy and the automated rules that it uses. Then you can click on one of the rules and you will get more detailed information about what each rule does, how best to use it, and a preview image of what the rule will look like in RevealBot. You can change your business type by clicking one of the tabs and it will then change the metrics used in the automated rules to best suit your business. For example, if we click mobile app, you'll see the metrics purchases and purchase ROAS change to mobile app purchases and mobile app purchase ROAS. Once you've decided you want to use a strategy, simply click the Create Rules button to add to your account. It will create a draft of the rules, which you can edit and customize before setting live. Let's add this Quick Start strategy to our account to see how it works. Because the Quick Start strategy consists of three rules, you can create a new folder to store these rules together or add them into an existing folder. Let's create a new folder and we'll change the name to just Quick Start. Once it's created, we'll see our newly created folder with the three rules inside set as drafts. Before turning them all on, I recommend going into each one and set exactly what you want your rule to apply to, verify the rules still make sense for your specific campaigns, and make any edits as necessary. For example, let's go into the increased budget rule. Let's select that we want this rule to apply to all active ad sets. Now in the conditions, we need to make sure this rule makes sense for our campaigns. For example, daily budget less than $2,000 might be too low or too high depending on our typical spend levels. This amount should be the maximum spend you'd want any ad set to have. Let's just say our daily max is $1,000. We can keep the three purchases threshold and let's decrease the ROAS threshold to two. From there, you can go on and adjust the notifications and schedule to how you like and once you're done, you can finally set it live by saving the rule and then turning it on. Now you can follow the same exact process for the other two remaining rules. And in no time, you'll be using a proven automation strategy to help you scale your campaigns profitably. In the next lesson, we're going to look at automated rule logs to learn how to diagnose errors with our automated rules.